Why would someone need vertical loading for a SpaceX rocket? Was reading about the new vertical pad loading system SpaceX wants to build. Of interest was this quote. Known as a mobile service tower MST, SpaceX has managed to avoid the need for the expensive, complex, and extremely unwieldy infrastructure for the first decade of Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy launch operations. Instead, SpaceX has designed its launch vehicles around the concept of horizontal integration, meaning that its Falcon rockets can be entirely integrated and prepared for flight before going vertical for launch. This approach has ensured easy, cheap access to the entire rocket and payload up until the last few days of static fire and launch operations, lowering the cost of launch. Beyond Russian spaceflight operations, SpaceX, and a handful of other companies around the world, nearly all other major launch providers and space agencies, including the United Launch Alliance ULA, Arianespace, ISRO India, and CNSA China, rely almost exclusively on vertical integration. With its new Pad 39A mobile tower, SpaceX will soon join that small club, giving it the ability to compete on completely even footing with ULA and others for lucrative military launch contracts. The article never addresses why you would need vertical versus horizontal loading. The horizontal method seems to have been quite successful, so why would you need or even want vertical? Payloads are attached to expendable or vertical landing vertical takeoff vehicles at the ends where they touch. Given satellites weigh several tons, and are several meters in length horizontal integration puts a lot of torque on that connection, and to lesser degrees on other parts of the spacecraft structure. Reinforcing the spacecraft to withstand these loads requires a redesign effort and will incur extra weight, which means something will have to be sacrificed. Some spacecraft are designed to be transported horizontally by the mounting structure, for these it isn't an issue. 